It's a rainy, rainy day, isn't it, today? Hello, everybody. Today, aha, what is the day? It is Monday today, and I am doing coffee and a chat. It's Monday the 23rd, and I wanted to do this on the weekend but we didn't get to it on the weekend we have a sleepy sleepy boy here with me we are down in hillside which is my um garden room if you like to those of you who are new here it's where magic happens la, 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 la. <laughs> miniature magic <laughs> yeah that's about it but as you just saw, it's absolutely pouring in most of the UK today. And I believe yesterday, the day before, <laughs> the day before, I think we've had it here since Friday. Yeah, it, but then when it stops, it's not like really cold, but then when it stops, when the rain stops, the sun tries to break through because the cloud clears. And it is warm and I don't think there's any cloud clearing today because we're already at one o'clock in the afternoon now so yes I have got little man here as you can see them it look dark as well now behind wow <laughs> it is dark outside I've just actually fed the birds so not that they really need feeding yet because there's still plenty of food around for them but um, Russ had a lot of um, seeds. You can, I can see them circling because they've, they've seen that I've put something out. Yeah, there they go. And um, Russ had a lot of seeds he didn't want. So I bought some lard and I made up some um, fat balls and fat squares. And I've just put one out on the, one out on the stand now because it won't fit in the, um, in the tub that I've got them in for the freezer so um yeah we are going to do the giveaway from penny um and we're going to talk about the doll show we're going to open this from sarah we're going to have a nice drink and a chat because it was the first day of autumn here with my new autumn mug remember i got this from the range the other day So I'm filming this Monday, but you won't actually see this until, because I do have a coffee, uh, I do have, um, I don't know, I, do, I have a tidy up Tuesday that I want to put up tomorrow, it's ready to go, I've just got to make it go live, and it's what I filmed that before the doll show. So I don't know, because today is Monday, and I don't, usually one video after the other, don't don't always do very well but I might because I haven't been uploaded since Saturday so I might put this up tonight if not you'll see this Thursday <laughs> so tomorrow afternoon I have an appointment and then um, I need to go into Hobbycraft to return something that I bought in there that when I got home I'd already had one <laughs> obviously liked it that much it's a stamp um and because i do like crafting and card making and things although and i've just started 
making cards um, for Christmas. Just started. I didn't make any last year, but I've started this year. Um, just felt really felt like it because on the weekend it was it was rotten. Russ wasn't here, so I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go to hobby craft, get some bits. Well, I had to look through my stash first, get some bits from um, hobby craft for um, Christmas craft Christmas cards. And so I started those up. Um, I'll show you. This is I've also bought some stuff ready for Daisy for her shop so that she can get her shop jazzed up for Christmas. Um, these are little small honeycomb, honeycomb embellish, um, embellishments so you can put them on cards. But um, I'm going to use them to hang down from Daisy's um, shop. And then I got these. There were these three seams as well in a pack. Sorry, mate. I was just so tired. These three seams. Let me just try and hold them together. But what I want to do is use, they make really good pictures, like miniature pictures. Can you see that? It's Cottage in the Snow and Stags in the snow which i think will go for bert's log cabin over there his lodge because he he has got it's, it's stag themed and then this is bears so i'm not sure if we need that one yet because i don't i don't know daisy might like that one because she is a teddy bear after all i don't know <laughs> i finished um the uh mr and mrs woolly Oh, I can't remember if they're alpacas. I think they're alpacas from Sylvanian families. I finished that almost. I just want to, just looking for just a few more decorations in there. But I finished the front and everything of it. Hi, Mr. Woolley has sat there. Well, he stood there actually, listening to me a bit and on. Yep, this is what happens. Normally, Mr. and Mrs. Woolley, they tour because they came all the way over here from Ireland. Back at the beginning of the year. Can you remember, guys? They came in their camper van, didn't they? Remember? Yes. And they've been looking around for a home. And their new property is right next to the um, Daisy Stores, Daisy's um, Lavender Cottage, um, with a store, shop at the bottom. Um, and that is further down the mountain than we have got up here. We've got the giraffes up in the trees. And... We have got Bert. God, Bert is cycling away there. He's busy delivering. He's busy delivering for Daisy in the shop. So he's busy de delivering. And I couldn't remember your name there for a minute. Sorry about that, Bert. <laughs> so, yeah. And then I've got out my um, Halloween decorations so that I can get them up again this year. Bert, you fell off your push bike. Bert fell off his push bike. Let me put your bits back in. There we go. So we got those bits. Um, yeah, so and while I was in there, I bought myself a couple more stamps and one a really nice toadstool one. And I really liked it. It was the last one there. And I ummed it up and I thought, yeah, I'll get it because it is the last one. Not that they're never going to have any more stock, Caroline, of course. So I got it and <laughs> get home. And I went to, like, was putting the stamps away in my stamp um, folder. And there it is in there. Good job I kept the receipt. Well, I didn't. I screwed it up and put it in the bin. I had to fish through the um, recycling bin to find it back out. So I'm going to take that tomorrow and return that. Then I'm going to go into Dunelm because we need a new kettle. Do you know, this, this month I've already bought two new pans for the kitchen, uh, two new dog beds, and there was one something else for the kitchen. Oh, an iron. Blimmin' how things don't always don't always all happen at the same time, don't they? So um, I want to go in and have a look at the kettles. I know I could buy them from Amazon to get delivered to the door, but I'm already down in Taunton tomorrow afternoon, so I want to go and done out. But the thing with that is, it probably result in me spending more money. <laughs> 
never mind, hey, never mind. Let's put you down in the in the cot then, shall we, mate? Hey, look at him. Um, he is pickle, authentic pickle. Um, you did get all sorts of things when you got your pickle. Um, came with the COA, and this is one of them from Nicky Johnson. He's a little, little lovey. Um, and he's wearing beige today, so we got out the beige lovey. Um, he was painted by um, Susan of Von L Babies, Von L Babies. When I got to the show last week, she only had two babies left and they were both sleepers. And I did a minar, I have to tell you. What a so this is Susan's store and these two lovely ladies here have been selling for Susan because Susan is recovering. And so look at them, they've only got two babies left. And we've only just arrived. Wow. Oh, she's cute, isn't she cute? Look at the little mouth. I can't believe she's you've only got two left. How many did you bring? Six. Minar, I have to tell you, one of them is not my cup of tea. It's got the dried skin on. Um, that is like new um details that a lot of the artists are adding on. Um, and that's not something that um is for me because I would spend my time trying to pick that off because <laughs> that would be me you know when babies and um, they get that don't they when they when they're quite dry when they're usually when they're overdue because up until that point they're covered in that that layer of hair aren't they so also some some artists paint that extra hair on and I don't I'm not a lover of that either none of my babies were early my real children none of my children were early or late apart from the ones that are angel babies and not meant to be here. And um, my girls all came just like lovely, lovely, clear complexion. And so I'm not a great lover of the ones with the marks on their faces, um, this dewy hair, the dry skin, loads and loads of mottling, just because my babies didn't come like that. And, you know, I'm here recreating my... Um, empty nesting situation <laughs> best time of my life was having my children younger well having my children but definitely when they were younger so um yeah so one of susan's was like that and one of them was um just a cute little some little sleeper and i was i'm really on the hunt at the moment for three to six months i didn't have any expectations of one being there at the Bristol show because that's quite a small show and I know when I get to Peterborough in a few weeks it will be huge so um good job really and I said kept saying while I was there I'm not doing an emotional purchase Caroline is this going to be an emotional purchase and so I didn't come home with a baby as you all swore I resisted and I'm so glad I did because I have just had had Elijah. Elisha was an emotional purchase and Elisha has just um, put in the box. So he's just been readopted, sold, I was going to say, and I don't really like to say that, but that's basically it. And he is sitting in his box waiting for me. I don't like sealing it up until the last minute. So at the moment he is sitting in the box that I've got for him. Um, he's changed. I've got him changed. He's in the, I always send any babies that I post off of, um, for the last few years always sent in a white um, pillowcase because um, I don't like wrapping nappies on them I don't like any of that because nappies are coarse inside so I don't like any of that rubbing on the baby's face or anything while they're in transit because you know they just get chucked around don't they so I always put them in a in a white pillowcase and um, so he is ready. I think um, the, earlier on today, I put um, a post up on YouTube that he is off. Getting ready to go. He's not off. He won't be off until tomorrow. Tomorrow I go to a town where there is a very small town. 
but it's a town nonetheless where they have a post office. I don't have a post office near me, so I can't just nip to the post office or without getting the car, getting in the car and driving out. Which I'm sure a lot more of you have to do with the weather like this. Anyway, even if it is just up the road, what we like, hey? My eldest daughter has just gone on um, her holiday and Jack's soaking wet on the beach, soaking wet, loving it. And it's like puddle suit on, just getting his feet in the sand, in the big puddles, playing with the dog. He's just had a whale of a time this morning. It's not raining. It's damp there, but it's not raining like it is here. But um, it's absolutely tipping it down. Can you hear it on the roof? If you can hear it and it's interfering in the in my um, video, I am sorry. But I do want to get this done. So I'm going to put him now. Let's put him over in the cot. Okay, let me put him in the cot and then I can get up the, um, the gift. <laughs> Losing my mind. There we go. Here we go. Let's just come over here. So this is um an old cot that I did do a video of me getting it. And um there's my little fella in there. There you go, fella. All right. It's not cold in here, so you don't need a blanket on. But he does look so cute in this little outfit he's got on today, doesn't he? Isn't he cute? Um, so, yeah, somebody said, um, Sarah gave me that liner, didn't she, with the clown on? And somebody said, why don't you put that in this cot? And at the moment, it is underneath the pushchair. I think what I'm going to do is, like, line it in one of these push, Not this pushchair. This is a pushchair with the trains in. This is the pushchair from 1988 that I have from my daughter, the carry cot, which is a gray, just gray inside. I think I'm going to put it in there and then put um, my clowny like bits in there. Remember I did the talk about this, what was in my vintage basket the other day because somebody requested that. So I might put do that and put my clowny bits in there. Um, and I might then take it, November I think is Gaydon. I think November is Gaydon. Is it the Doll and Teddy Fair that I like? So, um, even though it's not cold in here, I feel like I want to cover him up. <laughs> I do. Here, let's cover you up with this old one. Here. It's not cold in here. Has that got a mark on it? That looks like it's come up from the... needs to have a freshen up. It's got a mark on it. Where's that come from? Then? Maybe where it's been on the floor. I'll put it over here. And, uh, and freshen that up, give it another wash. It's a vintage one. It did look like it had a mark on it, which I could have spilt coffee on it when I was on my way down here. Um, here, we'll put this one on him. There you go, bud. There. Right. <laughs> He's so cute. I just love, 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 love him so much. I just really, really love him a lot. <laughs> anyway, here they are so far. Here is the Woolies. That's what they are. They're the Woolie family. And there's the inside. So far. What I want to get is like some sort of shelving area here that will cover up the that bit there that clips in if you want to attach like this to another to another one. You can like stack them all up in that. But I've just put a piece of um, foam board in there and covered it with the same wallpaper. And the wallpaper has got little robins on, if you can see that. And it looks like... Ariana is oh, getting some food ready. That looks good, Ariana. And so there's Daisy. And um, these are the latest little Sylvanian surprise packets. <laughs> Luckily, I managed to get these three separate ones in the pack of three I got already. 
And here are the school kids. Oh, it looks like they found a, a snail to talk about. See, this is Emma here. Emma, she, she is all about investigating. See, she has her rucksack on. And she investigates them all. All of the um, outside. So, I've got some glue because I'm going to spray that down. Adhesive spray to spray all of the shingle down here. I was, I have got some other stuff to put on it, but I'm decided not to use that. So I'm just going to sprinkle this adhesive spray onto it. So that's what I was talking about just now. Right. Okay. So, um, yeah. What did you think of that? <laughs> you know, my brain is just not here. I think it's soggy. I think my brain is soggy from all this rain. <laughs> it's so peaceful, like, you know, to sit here and listen to it. Anyway, let's get to this giveaway. So I'm hoping this is going to be a short turnaround for this giveaway. Um, so if you know people in your circle that watch my videos, you might want to give them a heads up that I've put up a giveaway. And the, 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 the short turnaround depends on whether I put it up today or Thursday because the, the deadline for this giveaway is Saturday the 28th, 28th of September at 11.59 p.m. Greenwich are we still in Greenwich Mean Time? That's when the clocks go back. I'm still in Greenwich Summer Time here until the clocks go back, which is the end of October, I think. Um, but it is autumn here now. And um, so you will, if you're from another country, that's fine. I will post to any country that the hour government allows us to there are some that it restricts um so but i don't usually have people anyway asking from those countries so that's fine and i do pay postage okay so this is a going to be quite a bit even though this is a light parcel it is a big post parcel to post abroad um just because of the cost so even if I fold it up and it's just going to be like that, it's still probably going to be nearly twenty pounds if I want if someone wins it in Canada or America. So that's why usually I try and make smaller packages for my giveaways. But this is gifted by Penny, and this is Penny on her stall. Right. Okay. This is Penny. Penny is a nutter, just like me. <laughs> Maybe a bigger, bigger nutter than me. But she has just given a giveaway for us. Yeah, lovely. Look at that. Oh, you're so kind. Thank you very much, honey. Oh, so she's given us this for a giveaway. Oh, I get a ring. Free ring with a. Yeah, but I didn't purchase it. <laughs> I didn't purchase it. You gave it to me for nothing because you're so sweet. Let's have a look at these. They're all different sizes, so you've got to like punch through. Okay. But let me just show everybody what else is on it. See, this is what she does. This is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. That's like this is beautiful. This is beautiful. One with pom -poms on. Well, I'm glad they didn't want that one because I want to buy that one. I actually want to buy that one, yes. Yeah. Look at her. See, and this is how they look on the babies. Look at them. Aren't they gorgeous? I love that stuff. That loopy. So thank you very much, Penny. To be entered into the giveaway, now I would like you all to thank Penny in the comments. So in the comments, thank Penny for the giveaway and you will be the people that I will enter 
I mean, if you're watching this and you don't want to be entered in the giveaway, it's still leave me a comment, some sort of comment. Because what will happen is YouTube, if you don't comment or you don't watch a few of my videos for a while, YouTube will think that you don't want to watch my videos anymore and will stop you from watching them. Um, will stop them being recommended for you. And I know that because I follow... Let me just get out of my page a minute. I follow, oh, offline. Yeah, I should know that, shouldn't I, that I'm offline? Because <laughs> I have to use my own um, data as my Wi-Fi when I'm down here. And I thought I was so organised. Anyway, I was like, why, am I, why aren't I getting her videos? I'm just going to get me Wi-Fi. I'm going to turn you around a minute. Why aren't I getting her videos? And it was because, oh, hang on, guys. I just turn on my hotspot. It was because I um I hadn't watched them for maybe a couple of weeks, and YouTube. When I went in to watch one, I was like, "Oh yeah, let's have a." Why haven't I seen you for a while? Or I hadn't commented. So every video I watch, I usually like. If I'm going to watch a video all the way through, it usually means I like it. So I always like it. So please like this one as well. I'm just trying to turn on the... Turn on my wafer. Come on, Caroline. <laughs> and um, anyway, and I was like, huh? I haven't seen your video. Have you been all right? Have you been okay? We're connected. And... Um, YouTube had decided that it would um, just stop the notifications for me. And I'm like, that is a right damn cheek, YouTube. But I'm guessing um, I watch a lot, a lot of crime. <laughs> and I've always been fascinated with crime ever since, probably ever since I could read. So... My dad used to get true crime magazines and I used to love, I used to sneak them out of his bedroom. There was like a stage where my dad did live, did live at home and um, I was about 12. And I used to sneak his magazines out and read them. <laughs> like They used to be called, I don't know if they still do them now. I haven't bought one since my dad died. I used to buy them for my dad when he was in hospice. Um... um yeah, so I haven't bought one. So they were called True Crime, True Detective, and you used to I used to always buy them in W. H. Smith. So I don't know if they're still if they're still oh, sorry, that was just talking about my dad just takes my breath away a bit. Whew. Okay. So if you go onto my videos, oh I don't know, because it's my video, isn't it? So I don't need to keep watching myself. <laughs> I don't need to have a notification on myself. No. Let me go on somebody else's I follow then. Um, right. So this is a lady that I follow. <laughs> You're going to see all the other things I follow. <laughs> I'm going to take down Tony round. Not that there's anything rude on there for sure. It's, it is. Profiling with Pat Brown, Grey Hughes investigates, Mysterious, WV, Lord and Arts, Court TV. <laughs> Linda, that's another um, repo, mummy. Oh, God, let me just turn you around. You can see. You can see. See here, so this is the lady, actually, that I was on about, Whipple Will Holler. And um, so if you click on that, the subscribed so i am subscribed but if you click on it and it goes down can you see it says notify me all personalize or none or unsubscribe well well I, she uploaded a video and i can't remember which one it was well this one was two days ago so it must have been this one and i was like hmm how come i haven't seen you for a while have you been all right miss laurie and so I look on there and if and I had no notifications. Oh, now I've unsubscribed. I don't want to unsubscribe. <laughs> I want to subscribe. Oh, my fat fingers. And then, it, so now I am clicked on so you can have personal. I don't want to be personalized. I want to have them all. 
I want to see all of them. Oh my God, all. There you go, see. So now I'm going to see all of her notifications. But I was on none. Anyway, so if you think, oh, see, look. Lauren Crime, 48 Hours, The Villains, Daniel Hallen, Lord and Arts, Profiling with Pat Brown, Grey Hughes, Best Nancy Grace. See, I told you, I watch a lot of crime. <laughs> I do, I watch a lot of crime. But anyway, let's go on to mine and we're going to read out, oh, and we're going to read out some of your comments. So the, let's just go back to the giveaway, the lovely giveaway by Penny and my little bit of paper that I wrote it on. So the giveaway ends on, <laughs> let's just double check that we've all got this. We've all got this written down. You can tell I don't script any of my videos because they would go more, more sleek than this. So the date that I am videoing this is the 23rd of September. I, I might get it up tonight. If not, it'll be up on Thursday. The deadline will be Saturday the 28th at 11.59 p.m. Oh, I, then I've done Greenwich Summertime. It's, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Greenwich Summertime. So you can always check. So if you live if you live in Ohio, and that's your time, if you go into Google and find out what the time is in um, London, you'll be able to work it out, won't you? So say thank you to Penny in the comments for this brilliant brilliant giveaway thank you very much penny so very very kind of you to oh god i paused that <laughs> to give a i was trying to take a photo of the bag to give a giveaway to my viewers and hopefully i'll see you in a few weeks i do have my vip ticket hopefully russ will be downloading them so I do have my, yeah, I'm going VIP this time. Uh, view my channel. So here we go, videos. So if you want to see, these are the videos I've, my uh, recent uploads. So I took Polly, Polly, I took Molly out. We went to the garden center. I think that was Thursday afternoon. Look how sunny it was then. And then it rained <laughs> Saturday, uh, Friday. Yeah, because Friday I went to Rebecca's, it rained. Saturday I was at home, it rained. And that's when I went to Hobbycraft and thought, I'm just going to buy some stuff. Um, That was my doll show purchase. That's my doll show, walk the floor with me. So you get to walk the whole floor of the doll show. That's always the slideshow. I always try and put a slideshow up the night of the show, the vid of a slideshow of my photos that I take. This then is walk the floor that's where you can join me and sarah because sarah drove me um and um who did i take with me oh emma jane yeah the next time it'll be timothy timothy be coming on holiday with us because timothy's going back with auntie amy so then i like to sometimes upload some shorts if i think that they'll be of interest two people and then I link them to oh I still got to get that I still want to get that maybe I'll pick that up tomorrow oh look at poor Timothy he doesn't have very many views there go and show him some love guys look at him <laughs> that was when we did the make baking anyway then if you're interested here's the playlists so that's Elijah this is the little one who's now um going to be going home to his new mummy tomorrow but here is all of my playlists to all of my all of my videos you can see where i lost my hair even further back 2020 there look that's christmas 2020 so that's four years ago and i don't have hair hardly any hair there either and then community so this is where i leave messages for you guys um and there you'll see some that are in green and it says members only so i can see that but you can't it just means not everybody can it means these are messages that were just for my members 
and um, that is for people who pay to join my channel. So I'll leave the link. You can always find the link in the community tab section or I'll leave the link in the video if you want to join us because from October I want to be doing a live videos once once a um I think I'm going to do once a week anyway I was trying to get to the video of is it the doll show I was on about talking about some of your some of your comments I'm not sure if it's from the hall or from the doll show let's have a look um 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 um, um. I'm just going to um, I mean, you can all, all see these, but there are some comments that I wanted to respond to. Oh, yeah. So, Becky, there was you and somebody else were talking about the clown liner in the vintage cot. But no, I'm going to put it in the pram. Well, I need to respond to you. Look at you. You're all waiting for a response. Look at my hair. <laughs> Ah, needs to grow down a bit at the back. Cause look how much it sticks out. <laughs> oh my days, oh my days. There is some some comments and I wanted to respond. And you know what? As soon as as soon as I stop filming, I'll be like, oh that was the comments. I just like to answer your comments sometimes, guys. Molly definitely enjoyed herself having a day out with mummy. Um, and it was so nice that you enjoyed the gar the garden centre. Um, because so many of us can't go out and do things like that. Oh, I think there's somebody at the door. Here we are, I'm back. <laughs> And I cannot, I'm sorry, I can't remember. Um, oh, I was going to use comments, so I should have written them down. Ugh, I'm sorry, I'm so disorganised. I'm quite disorganised this last week. My brain is going, -choo. anyway, let's open this instead. So this is a mini brand home. Oh, I got um one the other day day. I'm not sure that, I don't think this is the home one. But did you, I'm not sure if I showed it to you. Me opening it. There's a little bird with a bird feeder. Now I don't know what this one is called. Mini brand. I'll try next time I go to, um, I think I showed you when I went to Asda because that's where I bought the another one in Asda, same as I bought the um, Sylvanians families. Like these little, oh God. I, I don't know what one this is called. Lifestyle, maybe that's home. So this is, I got this one and a while ago I got another bird feeder. I think I've shown you before. I've got a bird feeder. I've got a fish tank. Um, a fish tank. Flowers. I can't remember what they are. But um, look at this one. This is cute. This is a bird feeder. And so it comes with um, like glue that kind of looks like peanut butter. So you, let me see if I can take it off. So you can, I'm going to have to turn you around. I'm going to have to turn you around to show you. Let me turn you around and I'll get the other one down as well that I did before. Where are you? There you are. I can't remember what ones these are, but here it is. Little bird feeder. And the glue look kind of looks like peanut butter and then you stick all the seeds on and then that hanging is like a fern fern fur cone 
and then it just hooks into that base there. And then that was the flower one that you've seen that one before, I think. I showed you that one before. And then, um, so these are the Sylvanians. So they come, they're, I think they're the little shop set. So I got one with a till. See the till? It's got ears. <laughs> it's got fish, look, there, buttons. And then one has got a loaf of bread, one's got a bag. So I got those as well. You get like one. Oh, you dropped your ice cream, missus. And then there's one in the background there. That's one as well. And then there's one there. That's also one. Now the ball. <laughs> Sarah's, the one that Sarah gave me is now rolling underneath underneath my table but yeah so this also comes out of the ball this is this is like half of the ball that you can make it into like a little shelf I feel cold <laughs> I just switched the lights on I've only got those two up lighters so I'm um I have like a small light here that I can use for my crafting. But I think, I mean, it's dark now. It's going to be like in the winter. I'm going to have to um, get Russ to do something with a bit more better lighting. But I've also got my like Christmassy lights going up there. Look. Oh, I don't know if you can see. You might be able to see. You can't see them, can you? Oh, yes, you can there, look. You're so pretty. <laughs> So I um I've, I've pulled my chair forward, and put my blanket over my legs. I am not cold. It is not cold in here. It's just I don't know. It's just the weather, isn't it? it makes you just want to snuggle up. Right. So anyway, let's finish opening this. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. You've been waiting like Sarah's like. Tell me what you got. Tell me what you got. She probably thinks that I've like completely forgotten. No, Sarah, I hadn't. But I wanted to open it on camera because. Fun. I think I've only got, I think I might have got one home, that one up there, the, the yellow flowers might be the home one. But they do have um, ultraviolet light now, which we can put out to the sunlight, it takes about 10 minutes to harden. But I actually have got an ultraviolet light, so I'm looking for it at the moment. That might be it down there. It was um, it was only a few pounds on Amazon. As soon as I realised, it's not the epoxy resin and that that you have to mix together. This one is child friendly. Oh no, this comes in. So when I showed you the one before, it didn't. It came in two halves like that, but the middle bit, it was like. It was like that, but the middle bit had that rim, had that solid ring, and then the other two gold bits fitted onto that. So this is not the same brand as those two. That's not the same, not brand, um, the same home. I haven't got a home one, I don't think is what I'm trying to say. Let me just have a look. No, I definitely haven't opened a home one yet, Sarah. Look at these bits. Now, I think these are going to be one sixth, which is bigger than the one twelfth that I use, but one sixth. It might not be. It might not be. I do believe, though, that one sixth is. Oh, no, that's one sixteenth. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. Whatever it is, I'll be able to use it. So we got one, two, three, four, five packages. So they'll all be for one thing. And then in here, in here are all the, oh no, my luck, I'll get some tools. Well, that'd be fine. Bert used the tools. Look at it all. But look at the back, it's got, oh, which I haven't seen. It's got Systema. KitchenAid, KitchenAid, KitchenAid. 
Sarah said, I saw it because I thought of the KitchenAid because you two were doing, um, me and Emma Jane were making, what did we make? Oh, the cookies. Yes, the cookies. It's red. It's red. I believe it's red. It could be the, it could be the red lip. Oh, it's not a magazine anywhere, I don't think. It could be that red chair. I reckon it's going to be that red chair. Just by looking in the bag. Sneaky peek in, in the bag. I reckon it's going to be that chair. Work chair. Bert's probably be glad of that. Mind you, Daisy might be glad of that as well. Oh! Take Caroline. We dropped a bit. It didn't go on the floor, though, so it's got to be here. It is the red chair! Yes, it is the red chair. Oh, it doesn't look very big, actually. So it comes with little instructions. But what did I... What came off of it? Whatever it is, I didn't hear it drop the floor. So it'll be one of the little bits that there is, fixes it together. I'll open that one here. So it'll be... <laughs> It's kind of like a little like screw thing. I think that was kind of important. <laughs> right, let's have a look. So then you get the instructions that tell you how to how to put the chair together. That is it all, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got that. That, that, that goes in there. So that goes in there. Hang on, we're missing some we're missing a bit. I had it, so I had it all here. There it is. No, oh, I had some arms. No, there are the arms. Right, hang on, we've got another bit then. That goes in there. This goes in here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I believe that goes up there like that. So that goes in there. And then that goes in there. I think I might have just put that. No, I can't put that the wrong way around. If that went into that and that. How did that go in there then? That goes into there like that. Because then it's both back for the your back and then that has to go in there. Maybe I had it the other way. You can just light back a little bit. You can tilt it back a little bit if you need to. <laughs> and then this goes on here. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Bert's, Bert's butt won't fit in there though. That is really tiny. Look at how small that is. I'm just trying to figure out if that will go in anywhere, any of those. It won't go in any of those, but no being or that so do you what what else is in here that that was from that you get more than one like actual thing in oh look at that little basket you do you get more than one thing for your home this is the basket oh apparently the chair is rare the chair is rare Look at me getting something rare. 
and these these baskets are really good this is plastic but when you get these baskets they like fold into themselves don't they so they're like half the size and then you can pull them out to make them bigger right that's those two well there we go so when you get those ones up there like i've got the ones i showed you just now you just get the one thing this is a box Stool. A stool. This is just like an IKEA stool. <laughs> this is a little kitchen stool. Okay, so here's the kitchen stool. Quite neat, actually, isn't it? Fiddly. A bit fiddly for these old lady hands. I'm sure I'll put those in there. That one goes down there. That one goes down there. Maybe it's meant to go the other way around. find it in a minute sometimes the picture is better it is in, in out in out you shake it all about <laughs> i'll figure out which way around these go can't figure out which way around the back goes I need a rustle. I need a rustle here. It's cow ah. Oh. <laughs> I do. If I got a rustle, he'd probably break it anyway. Surely that goes in there like that. Can't do this one, Sarah. You know sometimes when you're too scared to push things in case you break them. That's kind of the point I'm at at the moment. I mean, this is free just three and up and I can't even figure that out. For the life of me, figure out how that is meant to stick in there. Ooh, this one's this one's this one's hard. It just says you've got to put the ends in, and like not the not the back. The back should just slot in itself, but put the sides in. Yeah. Like, do you know, my eyes are so bad <laughs> nowadays. Right, I can't figure out this one. I need a mister for this one. Ah, might be because I was trying to put it on the wrong way around. Yes, that's better. No, that side doesn't want to go in that way. It 
it does is just me, really. But it's got such tiny little bits on it that I don't want to, you know, I'm too scared I'm going to break it. Really does go that way. Must go that way because the other way looked completely wrong, didn't it? I mean, that looks like the way it's meant to go. But I can't push those little the side bits in, which means it will come out if I don't push the side bits in. Well, it's not completely in there, but that's how it is so far. <laughs> I could do it like that. And we've got one more. We've got one little thing here to do. Oh, no, we've got two more to do. Wow. Wow, Taurus. What's this? Oh, it's a little cup. Oh, it's a systema. It's a systema. <laughs> Why do these things please me so much? It's a systema. Where are they? There, it's a soup mug. <laughs> That's another rare soup mug. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I have to take that to Sainsbury's and put it next to one and then take a photograph of them. This was really neat, Sarah. Great idea. Right. Fidget, fidget, fidget. Oh, what's that? No. Could be, could be wall art. Could be, could be a night table. Oh, I have. I've got that clock. I have bought this because I've got that clock. Oh, and the cupcake tin. Yes. So I have bought one of these. See that cup, that muffin pan? We've got that. The Woolies have got that. Not sure where the clock is. I'm not sure where the clock's to. Definitely be in one of my little somewhere. We've got the clock. We've got the muffin pan. We've got a frying pan. Did that also come out here? Must have been in a different set. But there's also a little frying pan. I've got the little frying pan as well. Where's the clock? What have I done with that? Oh, an egg. I think I've got eggs. And uh, Mrs. Woolley might have the eggs right now. So, yeah, I did get one. I don't know what's in here. What have I done with the clock? Might be... I don't think it's in daisies. Yes, I do have eggs. Where's the clock? I don't know where the clock is now. I've given the clock to somebody. Eggs. A little thing of eggs. Eggs, you're pretty common eggs, but look, it actually shuts. So look at what we got. We got eggs. We got five things. Because it was called Five Surprise, wasn't it? Eggs, a little chair. Oh, the eggs come out. I forgot that. I'm sure Mrs. Woolley's got the eggs. Well, the eggs are somewhere. It's a bit like the clock. Where's the clock? I can't see the clock in um, daisies. And I thought that that was where I put the clock. I put the clock somewhere. Eggs. Cutest little basket in the whole world. <laughs> Cutest little cup. Bert will probably want that when he's going to do his rounds, look. So that is like you could take your, you know, your soup or your 
stew or something to work and then you just heat it up in the microwave at work if you've got a microwave and a little chair a little office chair well sarah didn't they go down well i have to say i'm very glad i've got all of those i think i would have been a bit disappointed if i got a magazine but now come to think of it i might have got a magazine in my in my own set i still can't get this back on but i might have to glue it on it's definitely a user error i'm convinced of that But yeah, that was neat, wasn't it? So have a look for them if you've got somewhere near you that shops shops them. Because I didn't show you that before, but the cupcake pan, I think I've stuck it down. So I'd like to get the air diffuser. That would be good. All the shelving and the ironing board and all that, that'd be good. Oh, you, this chair, the bar chair is common. Such neat stuff. I love it because I love miniatures. So I love it. Look at that. That chair is not right. I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong. But the little bits of plastic are so small, I definitely don't want to bust them. And now I want to hunt for a clock. Because I do have that clock somewhere. And I wouldn't have put it in the nurse in the little nursery one that I made. It's definitely gone somewhere else, miniature, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, who knows, hey? Who knows? Thanks, Sarah. That was that's everybody's so sweet and thoughtful to me, and I thank you so much. I'm so blessed. Really, really am blessed, and I I'm just so thankful. Penny. I look forward to getting some of your more some of your clothes again. Oh, that's another one I'd like. Look at that lava lamp. Did you have a lava lamp when you were younger? Because I certainly did. Luxury. The Kitchen Aid was the luxury item. And an oven. But iconic. Oh no, that's not our chair. Our chair is iconic. Fish bowl. Frying pan. I'm sure we got a frying pan somewhere. Sure, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure we've got the frying pan as well. Frying pan could be in here. If I've not packed it away. Because what I sometimes do is like I'll glue some down if it if I if it's stuff I want. Yeah, there's the frying pan. I knew I had the frying pan. There's a the frying pan look. <laughs> but I'd like to know what I have done with the clock so this is my little basket that i use um, as i'm building stuff so like for instance this is the wallpaper that they've got the woolies have got and it's self-adhesive so i don't need that little bit anymore but what i probably use that is for part of the card making i should think yeah i don't <laughs> little bits and bobs in there that i've been using sarah thank you very much oh my god this is so long this coffee in a chat um as usual isn't it hey gosh i'm just getting longer and longer videos out i'm so sorry about that but anyway thank you very much for watching don't forget to take part in the giveaway and um we will see you in the next video it's all gone we will see you in the next video happy autumn